Welcome to the Amuna Project, a group of people searching for reality, searching for what is real in our lives, searching for the truth, and searching for a closer connection with our Creator, regardless of our background or our religious affiliation. And so today I am doing a lot of soul searching because, as you know, if you've watched some recent videos, uh, we've gotten ourselves in a tough spot in uh, our business and family. And um, the difficulty is uh, some debt, and it's not fun. But the reality is, is I'm thankful that God has put me in this spot. Why am I thankful? Well, because my relationship with God is so much deeper now because I have the debt and I have to cry out to God to help me and I have no other place to go. And that is a really great thing because I'm not searching outside of anything but the Creator for my uh, needs, to, to help me fill my needs for salvation. Uh, it's only coming from um, from Hashem. And interestingly enough, because I have this debt, my prayer life is stronger. My prayers are, uh, they have much more quality and they are longer. And there's, um, not, that, not that they need to be longer. I'm not saying, you know, uh, I'm not putting any, any uh, disparagement on a short prayer. I'm just saying that the quantity and quality of my prayers is super duper increased because of the difficulty. And I imagine like if I, you know, if everything was perfection, um, all of our financial needs are met and we had all the food then, all the drink and all of the cars and all of the houses and, you know, our kids were uh, perfect and nothing ever apparently bad happened in our lives. How, how often would we actually seek the creator? So thank God that, that I have a difficulty that we're struggling through as a family because that has actually brought me closer to my Creator. And that's my main goal right now is just to draw closer to God. And within my personal prayer time, I really feel like I'm getting closer. And I'm also getting closer to my family. Like I've been able to start speaking to God. And I don't believe that I'm speaking to God. I don't think that I'm speaking to God. I know that I am speaking to God. It's gone from belief to knowledge, and it's an amazing thing, and that is because Hashem has put difficulty in my path that the only way for me to, to achieve any salvation from that difficulty would be to go straight to Him, and I'm so thankful for that because I've been able to speak. I'm actually speaking words to Hashem in my private prayer time. Now, I'm opening up in front of my wife and in front of my kids, and I notice that my kids and my wife are speaking to me, like our communication is is increased. So the value of that difficulty has grown very, very strong. Uh, one thing I've been working on today, uh, as I'm talking to God and trying to figure out, is there something that is blocking the relationship? What What is my... Uh, what is on my side that I am cutting off any relationship with God? Where am I drawing away from Him rather than drawing closer? So I was researching the topic today of idol worship. Whenever we hear the phrase idol worship, um, some people are thinking about, you know, maybe you're worshiping uh, a person or maybe you're worshiping some, some sort of a statue. It brings to mind images of people bowing before uh, a statue and offering some sort of incantation, if you will. That's what idol worship tends to, uh, the phrase tends to bring about in your head. Idol worship takes many, many forms, but one huge form that no one seems to talk about is that idol worship takes the form of a lack of emunah. It's a lack of trust that the Creator is actually doing good in your life. That everything that He does is for the absolute best. You see, if you have something that comes into your life as a difficulty, such as debt, and what you do is you turn around and you complain about it, well, then that just shows that you don't actually believe 
that the creator is the one who is doing that for you. You think that something is doing that to you rather than the creator of the universe doing that for you. So you give this extra power to that uh, something out there that's negative in your life and then you begin to complain about it. Complaints are nonetheless no, nothing else than atheism because your complaint is saying that I don't agree with the way that things are going, therefore God must not be good, must not be doing good for me, and I'm unhappy with the situation. So what you have to do is you have to say, no, the God of the universe is good. He's only doing good, and he's the only one that's ever doing anything in my life, and it's all for me because he wants my absolute best. So because he wants my absolute best, he has given me, and I'm talking about me personally, he's given me the difficulty of debt. Your difficulty may be something else. But on our end, we have a difficulty right now, and God willing, that'll change and we'll grow and it'll be another difficulty and we'll grow through. But, but we have to have that struggle to get any growth. Just like whenever you go to the gym, you have to have the resistance of the weight if you're going to build any muscle. So we have to have that difficulty pushing back against us so that we grow. And I'm drawing closer to God through that difficulty. But if I'm just going to sit back and complain about the way things are going, then I'm just saying that I don't believe that the creator of the universe has anything good in, in value to my life. So the key is gratitude. Everything comes from the creator and everything is good. The exact opposite of idol worship is the belief that God is working everything for the absolute best in your life and he's doing it for you because he's the only true source of everything that happens in the world. Every instance, every person, every interaction, everything comes solely from the creator. So if you want a, for me, if I want a weak source of income, then I would have a weak reliance on Hashem. I would have a weak emunah that, that he's doing everything for the best. But if I want to get over that hump of that difficulty, then I want to say that absolutely everything that Hashem has for me is for my absolute best. He may not have it in his plan for my life to be rich. He may not have it in his plan for a rich person to be poor. So a rich person might not have to put hardly any effort and they see, you know, lots of abundance. But that's their plan. I don't, I don't need to get in their lane <laughs> and complain about my lane. I don't need to look at the grass being greener on the other side. Complaints are, are non-productive. What we have to do is be grateful because we have emunah, again, that everything God does is for our absolute best, for our benefit. It serves a purpose. And I know for sure that the fact that the debt that we're experiencing, the difficulties that I'm experiencing right now, is absolutely for the purpose of drawing me closer to Hashem. It's drawing me closer to Him. It's drawing me closer to my wife, to my kids, to my family, and to my friends because they see a change. And thank God that we have it. I pray for you guys that God would give you the ability to see that the difficulties in your life are for you. They're not happening to you, but they're happening for you. All the best, my friends.